Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to create a RabbitMQ consumer to read or consume the messages from the queue. Well, if you can look at the architecture over here, so far we have configured queue exchange routing key and we have also created a producer to send the message to the queue, right? So in this lecture, we will create a consumer to consume that message from the queue. All right, let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's create a consumer to read or consume a message from the queue. Let me go to IntelliJ idea over here. Let me minimize this. Let me stop the server and go to consumer package. Right click on it. New and then choose Java class. Let's give class name as rabbit mq consumer and hit enter and let's annotate this class with add service annotation and within this class let's first create a logger instance so we're gonna log the message right for that we need to have a logger instance private static static final and then logger from self for package and logger equal to logger factory and then get logger and then pass the class name that is rabbitmq consumer dot class perfect now we have logger in place next let's create a method public wide let's give method name as consume and then pass a message of type string because we are reading the message of type string right next let's annotate this method with at rabbit listener annotation well make sure that you choose at rabbit listener annotation from org.springframework.amqp.rabbit.annotation package so this annotation we basically use to read or consume the message from the particular queue okay for that we need to pass that queue so here we just need to use its property or attribute that is queues and then we just need to pass you know the queue name so let's pass the queue name dynamically so let's use curly braces within a curly braces double quote and then dollar and within a curly braces let's pass the key so go to application dot properties file and let's copy this key okay and the value is java gates right so we need to pass this queue name so for that we are going to use this property key so go back to rabbitmq consumer and just pass key here okay perfect now this add rabbit listener will you know listen to this particular queue well if you can notice here this consume method is basically subscribed to this particular queue by using add rabbit listener annotation all right so whenever there is a new message comes into this queue then this consume method will consume that message from this particular queue next let's use this logger statement to log this message so here i'm going to use logger instance and then its method info and then i'm going to use string dot format method to format the message so let's say the message is something like received message all right and here i'm going to put a placeholder percentage s and then i'm going to pass the message dynamically to this message okay it's pretty much we just need to print the message to the console isn't it so here received is a typo so let me correct it okay now we have created rabbit mq consumer which will basically consume the message from this particular queue okay next let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this consumer works so let me start the spring boot application and look at here our spring boot application is successfully running on port 8080 and also if you can see here created new connection with this rabbitmq broker by using connection factory instance okay and if you can see the url over here this is the you know rabbitmq client broker port 5672 all right and you can see the guest is the username followed by 
this is the localhost ip isn't it so by looking into this log statement you can able to understand that our spring boot ap application is successfully connected to the rabbit mq broker which is running on port 5672 okay now let's call the rest api and let's see how producer will you know send the message to the queue and how consumer will consume that message from the queue so let's go to browser and just call the rest api let's say message and let's say demo demo message and hit enter and let's go to console and let's see the logs and there we go message sent demo message received message demo message it means that our rabbit mq consumer will successfully consume or read message from this queue okay by looking into this log statement you can able to see a received message so in a in a consumer we have written this log statement right received message followed by message and in a log statement you can see able to see received message followed by demo message it means that the rabbit mq consumer that we have returned is working as expected isn't it all right this is how we basically create a rabbit mq producer and consumer to exchange the messages using rabbit mq broker all right great i hope you understood how to create a rabbit mq producer consumer in a spring boot application to exchange the messages using rabbit mq broker all right great i will see you in a next lecture